everyone this is Bhargav Sotar and today we are continuing with the topic discounting okay now in this today's uh, session we will discuss uh, what is a combination and what is a binomial coefficient previous uh, session we discussed about what is uh, a permutation and what is a pigeonhole principle now first uh, let us understand what is a combination now selection of a set of r elements from a set of n distinct elements where order does not count is called a combination now permutation that is an arrangement and combination it is a selection okay where order does not count for example uh, consider a set of uh, letters this a b c okay then this a b b c and a c they are combinations of the three letters taken two at a time okay so here it is a selection so if we select this a b or if we select b a but uh, that uh, does not change the selection okay because both the elements are same but for uh, arrangement uh, it matters the order matters so that means if we arrange a b or if we arrange b a then they, uh, they both matters so here in combination it is just a selection without considering the order in same manner a b c is the only combination of these three letters taken three at a time let us discuss theorem so the number of combinations of n objects taken r at a time uh, so if we have one formula uh, in the permutation we uh, we had this NP npr and in combination we have this ncr uh, that is the notation and it, this is also the c stands for combination and nr so that is the combination of uh, n objects uh, taken r at a time or simply this ncr and its formula is this n n minus 1 n minus 2 up to n minus uh, r plus 1 divide by r factorial okay so that means n factorial upon n minus r factorial into r factorial and this is important we will use it let us discuss examples so the question is a committee of five people is to be formed from a group of four men and seven women okay so how many possible committees can be formed if at least three women are on the committee okay so the we have question we want to create or we have to uh, form a committee of five people okay from a group of four men and seven women and the condition is that there has to be at least three women on the committee here uh, if at least three women are on the committee so that means we can have a women uh, or that means we can have a committee of uh, women uh, with uh, three women four women or five women okay so either it can be three or four or five so what we will do now the first uh, step now if three women are in the committee then the number of ways to form a committee are what or how many numbers are there see we want to form a committee of five people okay and the, and the first part is uh, a committee contains three women so now how many total women are there we have total seven and out of seven we will have to uh, just select three women so that means the seven c3 okay so three are selected now we want to form a committee of five people so that means two are remaining so they are from obviously men and how many total men are there there are total four men okay so that means 4c2 so 3 uh, 7c3 into 4c2 so that means 210 okay so this is the first part now uh, if four women are in the committee then the number of ways will be what now total seven women are there and we have the this part four women okay so out of seven the total number of cases are seven c4 okay so the total number of ways of selecting four women out of seven so that is seven c4 now we have the committee of uh, five people okay and total four men are there so only one remaining so that means into four c1 okay so four c1 so that means the total number of cases are 140 and last step if five women are in the committee so if five women are in the committee then now total how many women are there we have seven women and out of seven we want to uh, form a committee having five women so the total number of cases will be seven c5 now you can see that here only seven c5 will be there why because we want to create a committee of how many people that means five people so we have already selected five people so there is no room for men okay so that means 7 c5 so that means 21 now we will combine all these cases so hence the total number of ways having at least three women will be 210 that means the addition of all these three cases that is 210 plus 140 plus 21 and that is 371 now second question now from a deck of 52 cards a five card handle is dealt 
okay so how many distinct hands can be formed if there are at least two queens so now see the total number of ways are what for five hand card with no restriction so it will be we have obviously we know that uh, there will be 52 cards okay so 52 c5 so the total number of uh, ways will be this 52 c5 now uh, we have in the question there has to be at least two queens okay so we will just uh, do this sum in a different manner than the previous one okay so if no queen is included then out of remaining 42 uh, out of remaining 48 non queen cards the number of ways will be what so if no queens are included that means to total how many queens will be there total four queens will be there okay so we are just subtracting that so that means 48 uh, 52 minus 4 that means 48 and out of this 48 we will select this five cards so that means 48 c5 now if only one queen is included then out of four queens we choose one okay and out of remaining 48 we choose this uh, four cards okay so what will be the number of cases that means uh, 4c1 into 48c4 because the queens are total four and the remaining cards are 48 so 4c1 and 48c4 so therefore the hand of five cards can be formed in how many ways that means here 52c5 minus uh, 48c5 that means no queen plus only one queen that means 48 uh, c4 into 4 c1 ways so these many ways will be there see what uh, what we have done here uh, here we have uh, found all the total number of cases minus uh, this no queen plus only one queen because in the question we have at least two queens so we done here in a different manner uh, that means we can also uh, do this sum uh, as previous how see uh, there are uh, at least two queens so that means two so it, it can be either two it can be either three or it can be either four so just uh, take uh, all these three cases that means queens having two three and four and then add it or in this manner that means 52 c minus that means all total cases minus only one and no queen okay so both the answers will be same uh, let us discuss binomial coefficients so the binomial theorem we know what is a binomial theorem so the binomial theorem gives the expansion of this a plus b raised to n where n is a positive integer okay so what is this so a plus b raised to n that is equals to nc0 into a raised to n b raised to 0 plus nc1 a raised to n minus 1 b raised to 1 plus nc2 a raised to n minus 2 b square up to ncn a raised to 0 b raised to n so what is the pattern this nc0 okay now a raised to n the whatever the power it's uh, this uh, power of a starts from n so a raised to n and power of b starts from 0 so b raised to 0 plus here just uh, numbers are increasing so that means nc1 uh, into a raised to n minus 1 so whatever the power just uh, the power of a is decreasing so that means a raised to n minus 1 into b raised to 1 and uh, same manner the power of b is increasing by 1 so b raised to 1 plus nc2 that means increasing a raised to n minus 2 that means decreasing and b square that means increasing so this will be the binomial expansion so this coefficients this nc0 nc1 ncn they are known as binomial coefficients and s why because they are present in the expansion that means the binomial expansion uh, a plus b raised to n in using the binomial theorem so these are the binomial coefficients note uh, this uh, we will use okay so ncr equals to is same as this n nc n minus r and the second result is ncr plus ncr minus 1 equals to n plus 1 cr where r is in between 1 to n okay let us discuss example the question is if c uh, c n 3 so that means n c 3 plus c n plus 2 3 so that means n plus 2 c 3 equals to p n 3 so that means n p 3 then find n. so this type of examples can be asked so here uh, just uh, we are writing in a uh, simpler form that is n c 3 plus n plus 2 c 3 equals to n p 3 now what we'll do we'll just apply the formulas okay now what is n c 3 so that is n factorial upon n minus 3 factorial into 3 factorial plus now what is n plus 2 c 3 so that is n plus 2 factorial divided by n plus 2 minus 3 okay so that means n minus 1 factorial into 3 factorial and equals to np3 so that means n factorial upon n minus 3 factorial 
so then next now see uh, what is n factorial n factorial can be written as this n n minus 1 n minus 2 into n minus 3 factorial okay so that means uh, n n minus 1 n minus 2 into that n minus 3 factorial it will be cancelled uh, by this okay n minus 3 factorial now what is 3 factorial that is 6 now in same manner what is n plus 2 factorial so n plus 2 factorial that is n plus 2 n plus 1 uh, then uh, n into n minus 1 factorial so that will be cancelled so the remaining will be n plus 2 n plus 1 and n divide by 6 and in same manner in right hand side n factorial can be returned as this n n minus 1 n minus 2 into n minus 3 factorial and that is n n minus 1 n minus 2 so so if we expand this we will get n plus 2 n plus 1 equals to 5 times n minus 1 n minus 2 and after expansion we will get 2n square minus 9n plus 4 equals to 0 now we know that how to solve this quadratic equation so the factors will be 2n minus 1 n minus 4 equals to 0 so hence we will get n equals to 1 by 2 or 4 so that means 4 is the answer why because n cannot be half okay because we are selecting and arranging out of uh, whatever the entries out of whatever the entries but n cannot be half it has to be an integer okay so n cannot be half so n equals to 4 thank you